Hi, my name is Christopher Stovall, and this is my hobby, which is dissecting and fixing video game electronics. I'd always been a little tinkerer. I was that kid that always liked to take apart his toys and figure out how they worked, but um, it wasn't really until I actually got into the video games that really that kind of took off. And then once I did start looking at these is when I started being able to apply these skills to other things. My favorite to work on is any kind of Game Boy, particularly Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Those are the ones that are in the nice gray area of simple so it's not too frustrating to work with but also nice and compact and just they're a nice little package to work with yeah a lot of the satisfaction from this comes from the just being able to put something together and the fact when you see something that's not working and then you get inside it and you do something and you put it back together and it does start working again that is so satisfying especially if you had no idea what it even looked like on the inside before i probably have about a dozen game boys um i don't even have all of them on me right now um because a lot of them are just like my personal collection uh the ones i have here are just the ones that are broken or need fixing uh that's not that's just game boys itself that's not including other handhelds and systems um I, I can take it in, I can clean it up. If there's some cosmetic thing I can do to make it look nicer, I can do that. And of course there's actually repairing it. Um, if, it need, if a part needs to be swapped out or 90% of the time, if something's broken, it just needs to be cleaned. So that usually helps fix a lot of things. But yeah, I can show you a lot of the ones I have right now. Um, this is a Game Boy Advance. This is the original style. This is the SP, it's the flip style. And we have the, the Game Boy Color. Uh, this was actually one of the systems that my, a friend gave me that was broken that initially got me into it. Here's a regular Game Boy Color. I have all the original colors uh, that it comes with. Here we have the original, the DMG. This is uh, the, the big gray brick. I've got a few DS lights. One of the ones I'm most proud of is this guy. This is a completely modded Game Boy Advance that I have done, all I have taken is the original motherboard from it and then every other part of it is brand new. I've replaced everything and it is the ultimate package. It's got a brand new shell and buttons that are nice and squeaky clean. It's got a holographic tempered glass screen lens. Uh, it's got a audio filter with an audio amplifier and a new speaker. It's got a Lithium ion battery with USB C recharging, so you can just plug it in right there. And then the best part is the IPS screen, which uh, is a lot better than what it normally looks like because the original wasn't even backlit, and you can even adjust the brightness of it itself. So, whenever I go out, this is my go to handheld system that I play with. While I've been doing this, I've learned I probably have more patience than most people do. Um, I was presented like with with this first Pokemon Game Boy that I got. I was presented with one problem, and every single time I fixed it, a second problem arose. And then every time I fixed that, another one, and it just kept going on and on. But every single time, I would return to it, and I would try to fix it. But every time, it kept throwing new stuff at me, but I just kept going until eventually, yes, I did throw in the towel and say it's not worth it anymore, but the fact that I did put so much time, and this was over the course of a couple of years, I would just keep returning back to it and trying to fix something. Um, so just the patience and the dedication that I've learned that I have, uh, it was surprising, really. Um, no, everybody absolutely should have another hobby that's an outlet for them. Um, even if it's, it, it doesn't have to be related to anything really, it's just as long as you something, it's something that you enjoy doing, because if I have a bad day, I know I can always come back and pick up some, I can pick up a screwdriver and open up the system and it's going to be there. And just no matter like what I'm going through right now or what's going on in my head, I know that 
system, the video game systems in front of me are a constant that I can always come back to and I can always get that satisfying feeling or if I just feel like looking at it because it's just it's cool in there there's some cool stuff in there you know just like looking in and seeing how everything works like every system is different so it's always a chance to learn and grow from it I really hate when I'm talking about a hobby or something that I like to do and somebody goes oh I could never do that I could I would not be able to do that I hate when I hear people say never everything takes effort and there's always gonna be a struggle, but if you see someone drawing, you're like, oh man, I could never draw that. They've been drawing for years. Or if you look at the electronics, like, oh man, that's way too complicated, I could never do that. Yeah, it does look complicated, but it's always one step at a time. Stop telling yourself you can't do something unless you've actually tried and put in the effort. I get the shaky shakes, that doesn't stop me. I don't have very steady hands. I'm, I don't have surgeon hands, but look, oh man, look, oh, I can't, I can't get you accommodate. It might make it a little harder. You might not get it perfect, but you could still do it.